Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Bentley. I'm an application engineer with ProLim PLM. In this Snack Bite video, we're going to be looking at the collision avoidance tool inside of the NXCMM environment. So let's go ahead here and take a quick look at an example. So here I already have an inspection template and my setup. Notice I have my part alignment already specified on the left there in the inspe inspection navigator. So inside of this part, I have product manufacturing information. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that with the link to PMI tool inside of the NXCMM environment. That will then quickly create my inspection paths, tolerances, and features. I can then go ahead and run the simulation to verify those paths. Inside of the simulation, we can then go into the settings to make sure collision detection is on, and then we can specify the pairs here. So here, I'll go ahead and verify the inspection paths. So notice on our first path here, we have a collision with the sphere in this path. So I'll go ahead and press continue until reset. What that will do is go until the next collision, like some of those there, um, and flash the screen. Now notice some of the angles aren't correct. Some of the transitions are quickly transitioning between the two paths to um, the most efficient uh, way. So it's just taking the quickest path. It's not going to a safe plane. So we need to go ahead here and fix that. So the way we fix or correct some of those inspection paths is make sure you have the inspection program selected and then run the collision avoidance tool. So in here you have quite a few different options in the avoidance methods. Okay, so we can then move to a safe plane for probe rotations. We can move measurement points. We can change probe angles to avoid collisions. We can change the probe to avoid collisions based on the size of the probe. We can insert transitions between paths and within the path as well. And then we can start from safe plane and end or finish at the safe plane um, there as well. So we can specify a safe plane. Here I already have it set up. So it's 50 millimeters above the top plane of this part. Okay, as you press OK, it will then optimize those paths. Notice at the bottom there, it's finding the correct probe angles. And then you'll see some points are moved and some points have been inserted. After the collision avoidance has, has been ran, you will get a report on all of the paths. Okay, so let's go ahead and then run our simulation to verify that there are no collisions. So after the collision avoidance, you'll notice on the first path that it went around the sphere. Notice it is now not going deep down into the cylinders. It's now moving to a safe plane for the probe rotations. Notice on the back two faces, it's rotating to the correct angle now. So that is how we could use the collision avoidance tool to correct our inspection paths inside of the NXCMM environment. Thanks and have a great day.